Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Jennifer. I am 42 years old. I am from Indiana and I just decided I wanted to do a YouTube beauty channel. Um, I'm not looking for anything from this. I'm just doing it just to pass time, just to have fun because I love makeup and I get a lot of compliments on my makeup. So I was like, you know what, why don't I just go ahead and create a channel and show you the tips and tricks that I use for my makeup. So if you're interested in that, please feel free to like, you know, subscribe, continue watching the video. If not, I appreciate you for stopping by. So today I'm just going to do something basic. Um, Again, it's just a basic makeup tutorial just to start, you know. So I have the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Foundation. Um, this one is currently in the shade of Warm Honey. And this is what I've been using. This has been my go-to. It's still spring um, here. So I have been using that. Um, and then as the temperature warms up a little bit, then I am going to, of course, get something a little bit more liquidy because these tend to kind of cake up sometimes if you don't you know set it properly or whatever and you know within spring summer all that you know uh, you're not wanting that to happen you don't want to look like you have a cake face on your face so what we're going to do we're going to try and prevent it of course you can't prevent everything you can only do what you can do you know so First step for me, I've already done my skincare. Um, it is like almost two o'clock here. Um, but yeah, I've already done my skincare from morning, everything. One day I will show you how I do that. Um, that way I can show you guys what I use and maybe it'll help, you know, for you guys. Um, but yeah, so the first step is you want to like kind of set your face, um, which I did the skincare. So the next step is um, prep it, you know. So I have eyeshadow primer. This is from Milani. It's the Milani eyeshadow primer. And you just put this on your eyelids and you prime your eyelids basically. And I'm not doing a fancy look today or anything like that. I'm just going to go in with it. It's just going to be a basic makeup tutorial. This is going to be like an everyday makeup thing that I do like when you would see me out on the street, you know. So I don't do anything, you know, it's nothing, nothing major, but we can get there if you want. Like do high-end reviews we could do that um, at a later time but right now i'm just going to go with the flow we're going to see what happens so yeah this is the primer for your eyeshadow i put this on here and i don't have nails on right now so i don't really use nails like that anyway but yeah um so you just put this on and again being that i have shorter nails i um just you know put it in there Rub it in your eye, rub it on your eyelid. It looks like I did a little bit excessively, but it's all good. We just rub it in and it's going to basically, you know, set, set itself and it'll get dry. So you just do that. Again, it'll set itself, so. It looks like I used a lot. Put a little bit too much on there, but it's all good. Again, it will set itself, so. We are good to go. We're gonna give it a minute or two. So again, you just let it set. Okay. So now that you've let it set in, then we are going to, I'm just doing a basic look again. I have the Violet Sunset Palette and enclosed in the palette they have these colors i don't know if you can see them that well but these are the colors i have pretty you know went pretty ham on it so um it's a good palette what i like to do is i don't know if you can see it or not but what i like to do i like to use a little transition color so this one is the main one's called desert sand this is the main one i use I use a transition color and then I'm going to go in probably with the darker color and mix these two. So I'm gonna do the transition, I call it transition, which just sets your eyelids. And then I'm gonna mix these two colors, the, like a reddish brown and then a dark brown color on my eyelid. So we're gonna do that. So 
oh yeah, this is that desert sand color. I will link the palette down below. That way you can see what I'm talking about and see the colors that I'm using. So. But this is a really nice palette. I believe I got it like in a BoxyCharm. I used to do BoxyCharm and um, they had sent that over to me. It's a real nice palette. I like um, BoxyCharm. Um, I did, you know, I did have a subscription, but I got off of that. Um, I'll probably pick it up maybe sometime here in the near future, but for right now, I was accumulating so much makeup, I had to stop because that's a lot of makeup that they give, you know? But I mean, I'm grateful for it, but that's a lot of makeup. So again, I'm gonna go into the next color we're gonna go into that's gonna be this not good with this so it's going to be this um brown so like this reddish brown color so i'm gonna do this reddish brown and i'm gonna go into the brown and i'm basically using the same brush because i'm just going to mix these two colors together so i'm just going to mix these two colors together and we're going to put it on you can use the same brush i know a lot of people are like oh you shouldn't do that or whatever but you know what i'm gonna do what i want to do there's no rules to makeup, so you don't have to worry about all that. Like, I know people be like, there's things that you don't need to be doing in makeup. You do what makes you happy. That's what I do. I do what makes me happy. If I want to use one brush, I'm going to use one brush. If I want to use 10 brushes, I'm going to use 10 brushes. But today, we're just going to use one brush for my eyeshadow. That's what we're going to do. So, go ahead and put this on here. I just washed all my um, eye brushes last, my makeup brushes last night. So that makes it even better. Yeah, so. And then I just try to blend. I'm not a professional. I don't want you guys to think I'm a professional. Again, this is just basics. Um, you know, later we'll add more color. Right now I'm just doing a basic neutral type of look. So I'm not like them high-end influencers, you know. Just do me. Keep it pushing all you can do but yeah so this is what we do they say blend I blend I noticed that whenever I apply eyeshadow I don't know what it is but I always get my eyeshadow like stuck in here stuck in the creases like right here so I always get eyeshadow right there ain't nobody perfect you know hey it's in there wipe it off that's all you can do and blend it out you see a little spot you know what I'm saying blend it out that's all you can do ain't nothing to it but to do it you know so the eyeshadow is pretty much done I'm not adding nothing else right now. Not for no eyeshadow. And then I do eyeliner. Now, I know people going to have a fit on this. Cause <laughs> they say, don't pull at your eye. Don't be pulling and tugging at your eye. But you know what? I'm older and I'm going to sit over here. And if I want to pull and tug at it, I'm going to pull and tug at it. So I'm going to pull and tug at it a little bit because I want my eyeliner to come out correct. <sighs> it may not be the correct feature to do it, you know, or the correct way to do it, but it's what makes me happy. Okay. Okay. So I'm about to <clears throat> apply my eyeliner. So again, they tell you not to pull and tug on your eye. Well, you know what? I'm going to pull and tug on just a little bit. So here we go. Sorry. I'm not here for no negative comments neither. I'm just showing you what I do that works for me. I get a lot of compliments. So I'm just sharing with you how I do my stuff. Again, there's no rules to makeup. And I'm just showing you what, you know, what compliments me, okay? All right, so I don't pull on it like real bad and nothing like that, but I just take it, take my eye. Oh, y'all can't even tell, just take it. Just take it and, you know, like that you know so that's how I do my eyeliner so that's how I do my eyeliner you know I apologize if this makes people upset that's just how I do my eyeliner so. okay so I'm gonna kind of color or something but no all right so yeah that's how I do my eyeliner on my top lid 
I'm gonna do my next one as well. And that's pretty much that. That's pretty much how I get that eyeliner look on my top lid. Um, for you ladies, gents, that's how I do mine. And then of course the bottom, the bottom ain't nothing. You just, you know. Well, everybody know how to do the bottom eyeliner, you know. It would be the day that I'm on video that I'm getting this stuff all over me. I guess because I got camera and the lights and stuff like that. So I'm trying to adjust myself to the correct setting. So forgive me. But yeah, that's how I do that. I do that and then um, we're going to um, prime the face because you got to set your face um, and you know prime it and I'm using the perfecter poreless blur primer I haven't watched pores um, that's just a thing you know I, even if me uptaking my water they say that there's things that you can do and stuff to get it, you know, flawless. So I don't think so. Whatever. I mean, I even use poreless um, or things that help with your pores, like a cleanser and stuff. And I don't really see any difference. But I do have enlarged pores. I have combination skin. So like in the summer, I'm more oily, like in my T-zone. In the winter, I'm more dry, you know. Just depending. And then my nose can still be kind of oily as well. It just, it really just depends. But yeah, I've been uptaking in my water. So we'll see. But yeah, so I'm just using this. It's from Catrice. You can get it online. I got mine at Amazon. It's a really good primer, especially if you have enlarged pores. It's good for your skin. So I just take it on here. I just put like, you know, put the primer on here. And just, you know. Uh, rub it in, rub it in the skin, sometimes, you know, push it in, rub it in, whatever you feel works for you, you know, so just put it on. And it smooths out the skin, so you can already tell. It's a real good primer. I can't use them silicone primer types because those tend to just seem like it just, I don't know, makes my skin more oily. So I really can't use those. But yeah, this one here, this is one of my jams right here. And I think they have another one, not from Catrice, but another uh, company, the Poreless. Uh, hold on, let me find it. Cause I have it here, let me see. So this one's really good, that Catrice, the one that I just used is real good. And then this one, uh, the Professional from Benefit. So this is a real good pore filling primer as well. Um, so yeah, these these are really good. I love these primers here. Those two, like I said, I can't use the silicone ones because it seems to make my skin more oily and we are not trying to have oil. We're trying to have, you know, non-oil. So we just let that sit in there for a couple seconds and, or not a couple seconds, a couple minutes, let that soak in. And then you just move on to your foundation. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and put on this foundation, and I will link the uh, product in the description box. Again, this is a real good one. It is Maybelline Superstay Better Skin. Again, I have this in 90 Warm Honey. I'm only able to find it on Amazon, but I'm sure like if you go to Maybelline's website, then you can you know, find it as well. It's a really good foundation. So this is what I'm going to review today. I mean, or put on today and we'll go from there. 
So what I like to do, I only use like a pump, pump and a half, depending on how my skin is acting. Currently my skin is kind of breaking out because I did have surgery a couple weeks ago. I had a hysterectomy, um, a partial hysterectomy. Um, if you ladies you know, have questions or anything or have any symptoms or anything like that, I can do a whole video on it, you know, cause sometimes the doctors just don't listen to you and you know, you have to get you know, second and third, fourth, fifth opinions. And I think I went to like five, six different doctors before someone finally listened to me and finally found the problem. So, anywho, um, I can create a video about that if y'all wanna know what went down, but yeah. Um, so I think my skin is just reacting to it. Um, but hopefully it corrects itself here within a couple weeks. I've never really had an issue with acne like that on my skin. I mean, if you see up close, I don't know if you can see it, but yeah, I have acne like it's just coming out just out of, I think it's the surgery, but yeah, it's, it looks like, I don't know if it's hormonal or what, but it's all good. But anyway, so I'm gonna take the foundation. I only use like maybe a pump, pump and a half, again, depending on, you know, your skin and things like that. And I am going to just put it on my face. So just put it on here. Dart it up, try to cover this acne, you know. So just put it on. This is me. I know people be like, why she wear makeup? She don't need makeup. But you know what? I do what works for me because, you know, I nobody's skin is perfect, but I do appreciate, you know, the comments and you know, the positive and the, you know, positivity. In regards to my skin my skin's not perfect but i appreciate it like for real um i just love makeup i love makeup since i was a little girl my grandmama know my mama know my brother know you know i mean it's just i just love makeup and i have a baby wipe here to wipe off my foundation i don't use the makeup wipes just due to the fact that some of the makeup wipes irritate my skin like I don't know what is in it, but it literally irritates my skin. So I just use baby wipes and then I make sure to try to double cleanse um, once I, you know, take it off. Take off the makeup. And when you're putting your makeup on with a brush, pounce it in. Pounce it in. You don't wanna just do this because you're gonna look like you have a cake face. So you definitely don't wanna do that. I don't know how this is gonna turn out on camera. I'm praying it turns out pretty good because I can't, usually I'm in the bathroom, you know, doing my makeup, so I can't see how this is really gonna turn out. Yeah, I'm in front of the lighting and, you know, different lights and stuff, but I'm used to my, you know, bathroom mirror and my bathroom lights and stuff so i don't know how this is going to turn on camera i guess we will all see but so far so good um yeah so my favorite youtubers that i watch um i really like juicy jazz uh juicy jazz i've been watching her for a long time juicy jazz omg lashes samantha jane Carly Bible, Jackie Ina, I like her, she's so funny. Um, yeah, those are just a few. Those are just to name a few. Um, but yeah, I've been loving makeup and I was like, I'm just gonna do this just for fun, like I said, not to ask for anything from it, just fun, 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 fun. In the world that we live in, we have to create fun for ourselves. Fun and positivity. Okay. All right. So that is applied. And then um, the next thing is concealer. And the reason why I'm acting like that with the concealer is because I just bought this NYX Bear With Me Concealer, uh, Bear With Me Concealer Serum Concealer. And supposedly it's supposed to be like full coverage, right? So I've been working with it for the past couple of days and I just don't like the turnout of it. You know, I 
I don't like the turnout of it. It just, it creases under my eyes really bad. And I just don't like it. So, unless I'm doing it wrong, but you know what? We can try it, you know, I'll, I'll go ahead and try this one with you next time I'll, you know, do what I usually do. But usually, usually, so this is what I'm gonna use today just to show you on camera. Um, and then what I usually do is I use the L'Oreal Infallible Concealer. Now I have two different shades because like my skin is like in a mix of, you know, shades. Um, so it's warm here one day and again, it's cold the next, so. My skin is just going through it again. So anyway, um, I have the L'Oreal Infallible. The first one I have is 415, I just caught that, 415 Honey. And then the next one that I have is 400 Caramel. So I have that one as well. Now I mix these two shades, because like I said, my skin is like a, a mix of colors, but that's what I usually do. Um, so I told you I was going to do the, um, I told you I was going to do the NYX Bear With Me Concealer. So we'll go ahead with that bad boy, even though I don't like it, but we'll go ahead and do that. What I do is I just take it, I'm dropping everything today. Just take it and I think, just say, debate, deba, I can't even talk, debating if I want to use a concealer brush to apply it or just use my, no, I'm just going to use my finger. I'm just going to take one pump and put it on my finger and just apply it. So I'm just gonna apply it, put it on here, and let it sit. So you see, it just looks kinda, I know it's a serum, but at first I was like, yeah, you know, but then I'm sitting there looking at it and it's like, no. So that's the first one. I'm just gonna let that sit for a minute. Put this on the other eye. Dab it in there, dab it in there. Let it sit. I only use like maybe just like a half a pump. You know, it looks like a lot, but I'm just gonna let it sit. See, my struggle with my skin is my eyes. Although, you know, it may not look like it on camera, but you gotta understand, I'm in the studio lights and everything like that. But yeah, my struggle is my eyes. And I know that's a lot. Don't come at me in the comments for it because it is what it is. I'm filming this for you, I'm trying to show you what works, you know, on a budget. Please don't come at me in the comments. I'm just sharing this with you. I know it's a lot. Like I said, a serum. I didn't use a brush, forgive me. Um, so that's that. So I'm just gonna let that sit in here and then we will blend that out okay so we're going to blend out this concealer i believe i've had mine sitting on here a little bit too long now but it's okay so i'm just gonna blend this out with a sponge this is a wet and wild beauty sponge that i ordered off of amazon this is one of my favorite sponges absolute favorite sponges but as you can see, it's blending it out really nicely. The only thing is I don't like it whenever it dries because when it dries, it just settles under my eyes. And it doesn't, I don't know, I don't feel like I get the full effect of this concealer. But we'll see, you know, what happens. So you just, again, you're just going to tap it in, blend it in with your sponge. And you wanna try and, you know, minimize creasing as much as possible but yeah I just tap it over my you know face a little bit over my blemishes you know and sometimes I even add a double layer of it because it just it doesn't it just seems like water to me on my skin like it just soaks it in it's almost like a I know it's a serum but yeah it really doesn't do much for me but for the sake of the video I'll go ahead and rock it you know and as you can see well, I can see it's we are our own worst critics as well too. But I see that it just it just seems like it just makes my eyes darker. I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but I don't know. But yeah. So that's this. I I see a lot of you know reviews that people love this. It just doesn't work for my skin. 
what works for me may not work for you and what works for you may not work for me. So that's that. And then I'm gonna let that sit in there for a little bit. And then you gotta set the powder, well, not set the powder, set the foundation and the concealer um, to your liking. And what I'm going to do, so I have mature skin. I am not in my 20s anymore. So what may work for a female in her 20s, ladies and gents, may not work for me. I may have to apply more than what's recommended. And then at the same time, if you apply too little and somebody's gonna say something, if you say, if you apply too much, somebody's gonna say something, I'm gonna do me. So I'm gonna apply what I know best. Right now I'm using uh, the Fit Me Maybelline powder as well. It's a loose finishing powder. Mine is in the shade of 30 and this is medium deep. So this is a real good product. I love these, I love these powders. So I'm just gonna open it, you know, pour it in here, pour it into the top. And don't mind me, I have a bruise on my arm. I told you I had a hysterectomy and they had to blood, uh, draw blood from my arm because they couldn't get my veins because my arms are so, my veins are so small. So that's what happened. But yeah, so anyway, you take your um, sponge and dip it in here. Dip it into the powder and just try and tap off the excess, you know? Try and tap off the excess of the powder. I use the corner of the top to, you know, tap off the excess. And then you're just gonna put this under your eye. So, a little mirror, and I go from out to in. So I just go, you know, out to in, out to in. And you can see, just seals it up like that. But again, with this serum, it doesn't, it doesn't really work for me, so it's gonna crease. Right now, it doesn't look like it's doing it because I'm just fret, you know, just apply it on there, but yeah, it's gonna crease. So that's that. Then I'm gonna do the next side again, you know, and just, again, just dip your sponge in there. And just apply it to the next side, same way. Outer to inner, outer to inner. You know, and just try and Seal everything up best you can. Blend it out, powder it up. And these studio lights are warm. They're very warm. It seems like it's creating a shadow. But yeah, so that's how I do my makeup up there. And then we're gonna do mascara. All right, so there's that. Just closing the lid to that powder. It is messy. I'm wiping my hands off. That stuff is can be kind of messy. But yeah. So there's that. And then as far as people set their face, I don't really set my face. I don't, I mean, sometimes I do, but this time I'm I don't feel like it. Like I'm not. I'm not setting my face. I'm just doing me and I don't set it because I find if I don't set it, then it leaves it on longer. And then I find if I do set it, then it seems like it makes my face oily faster, if you understand what I'm saying. So I'm just going to take this bronzing, this bronzing here, and I'm using the Ace Beauty Bronze in Paradise palette. Ace Beauty, my fault, Ace Beauty. So that's what I'm using. And they have a nice, it's 
set of shades here. I usually use these first three. So take these three, press it off. Just put it on my cheekbones, forehead, underneath my chin. And I'll just do it a little bit that way. I feel like there's a shadow on my arm. I don't know. But anyway, so I do that. And what else? And then we have, I don't really do blush. I'm not really into blush. I mean, sometimes, yeah, but not really. Um, so I'm just going to go with my highlight because my highlight it has like a blush color kind of in there. And this is the um, Huda Beauty 3D Highlighter Palette. I love these colors. These colors are so pretty. And I'm going to use this. Probably this red. I just might mix the colors and put it on my cheeks. And for that, I have this little highlighter brush that I use. And just going to mix them up and put them on my cheeks. And just tap off the excess. Smile. And then just... I even put it above my eyebrow sometimes, or my eyelid, no, not my eyebrow, but my eyelid. So, and my, well, and my eyebrow. And then there's that, and then I do my uh, mascara as well. And for mascara, I use the Essence, I can't even talk, the Essence Lash, I can't talk, I can't get my words together, Essence Lash Princess. So I use that. This is a real good uh, mascara. So even if you have short last lashes, I can't even say lashes. If you have short last, la mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. if you have short lashes, you can use this mascara and it will give you lashes. So just using this. And I usually put like two coats on it because it's, um, it's real good. I think it is because I don't have the best lashes, but I like it. I'm just putting this on there. I don't know why I do that, but you know how people put on mascara and they open their mouth? I'm that person. I don't know why, but when I put on mascara, I open my mouth. It's a, I don't know, something. Yeah, this is one of my favorite uh, mascaras of all time. Favorite, favorite, favorite. I want to learn how to do the falsies, the kiss falsies. Like I see people putting on them fake lashes. I'm, I'm going to do it one day. One day I'm going to put it on here. I'm going to do it. So be prepared for that. I will. I'm all about trying new stuff, so I'll try these makeup products and see where it goes. So this is pretty much it. Like I put on my mascara, I put on a few coats, and this is pretty much the look, you know? It's just a basic, basic look. So um, final thing is, um, again, I said I don't set my face because it tends to make my face oily, so therefore I'm trying to not have any oil, any more oil on my face than what needs to be on there. So, um, 
I'm going to put my lip gloss on. I have some on already, but I'm going to put that on. And that completes the look. I am using the Essence Shine, uh, Ex Essence Extreme Shine Volume Lip Gloss. This is my favorite lip gloss. They used to have Essence, and they used to be called Shine, 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 but they changed it to just Extreme Shine Lip Gloss. So put this on. This is what I use. Like, I don't use any other lip glosses. Like, I'll use it. Like, I honestly, no. I don't use any other lip gloss besides this. Um, I have to have the moisture. I don't like lip glosses where you put them on and it leaves that ring around your lip, like that sticky feeling and stuff. This one, you don't have to worry about that with that. So, that's all good. So, yeah, this is no look, guys. Um, this was just a basic, you know, tutorial for makeup, you know. Um, I hope you like it. Um, if so, leave a comment, you know, like, subscribe, whatever you want to do. Again, I'm not looking for anything. This is just for fun. Just showed you, you know, what I do, you know, whenever I'm getting ready to hit the street, the road, whatever you want to call it, go out, you get it. So, um, yeah, um, that's it. We are all set. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for stopping by and I hope you have a good day.